me about your brain showing. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, w w welcome, w welcome back to more um, the nine. Oh, well, uh, welcome back for more Let's Play Gex Three Deep Cover Gecko. I'm uh, I'm the, I'm the cowardly lion. <laughs> That was terrible. Um, no, but really, I'm Hunter, and in this episode, we're going to be doing The Lizard of Oz. A boss level, which for some reason, KZX has been really looking forward to, because he thinks I'm going to die on it a lot. KZX, I am here to prove you wrong. Lock and load, little lizard. So wrong. I'm going to prove you wrong. Okay, so The Lizard of Oz. Lions, tigers, and Gex. Watch out for pesky wrestlings. And, uh, yeah, so Gex is dressed up in the Tin Man, and look! <laughs> Incoming message from the big giant head! Yeah, so basically what you're gonna do is kill him, obviously. Yeah, this guy's kinda freaky. And he's actually tough, unlike the, uh, unlike, uh, Rock Hard. So basically what you're gonna do is whenever these TV guys here appear, you know, you gotta hit, hit this. hit his brain. You gotta do this, let's see, five times. Well, like basically every boss has five hits, but. They take a little bit longer each time. So, whoa, don't kill me. Whoa! Okay. So, yo, whoa, whoa, Jesus. Okay. Jeez. You guys are being very annoying. Alright, so shoot his brain. That, okay. And uh, that's two hits so far. Oh my god, my commentary is boring. Gex, don't you have anything interesting at all to say for this level? I mean, come on, you got a friggin' giant brain floating, and you don't have anything at all interesting to say. Nothing? Nothing at all, really? Okay, then. Whatever. Yeah, and the gun's kind of awkward to aim. Basically, it's got, like, airplane controls. Basically, left is right, and right is left, and up is down, and down is up. Pretty much. I know it makes no sense why a turret has airplane controls, but... There you go. Well, airplane controls don't have the plane going left if you tilt right, but you know what I mean. Basically, all the controls are flipped. So what you think is the right way is the opposite of what you're doing. It makes no sense. But... Excuse me, but your brain is showing. Okay, there we go. That's a good quote. Alright, so come on, hit it. There we go, and he's dead. Just like that. That was easy. And we get a blue paw, which unlocks the next area. What is that next area, you might ask? Find out after this cutscene! There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Just call me the wizard. Can I call you Toto? Call me anything. As long as you call me. Okay, that was pointless. Okay, um, even though we got the paw, we still have one more thing to do in this area. If you recall, I said several freaking episodes ago that I was going to do the secret level, and I did not. But now we're actually going to do the secret level! Oh my god! I know, it's like exciting! Now we're actually doing the secret level I promised many episodes ago. It's a bit shocking, isn't it? Alright, <laughs> so, secret level! And it's got a star. You know why it's got a star? Lock and load, little because it's a swimming level. The abyssal. And I just noticed that these the fact that there's three things here and it's not totally pointless because that me because the other ones are playing as the other characters, but we're just gonna play it as Gex. Yeah, see I knew this was a swimming level, god damn it. This place is hell. Because I hate swimming levels. And it also is modeled after the Titanic level from Gex 64. Lovely, and he's wearing flippers. What the hell? This is just weird. Alright, let's dive. And you have barely enough air to survive, and you gotta keep going through these air areas. Things. Alright. Basically, they're kind of like the, um, the air stations in the, uh, the, uh, the space channel levels in Gets 2, but... You have to actually stand on them and wait until your health fills. Or your air fills. Okay, come on. Come on. Grab the... There we go. So I have to smack it. Otherwise it just won't work. Jesus. Okay, where's their air station? There it is. Okay, come on. Actually, my air's not draining that fast. 
I'm actually doing pretty good. What the hell? Oh, wait, this part, yeah. Yeah, the reason why there's so much time is because, one, you basically have to search every nook and cranny out of this area, and it takes a while. But then again, I seem I appear to be doing rather good so far, so maybe not. Let's just hope I don't have to hit the fish. Okay, you know what? Stop blowing up. Please. Stop swimming like an idiot. You're like drunk swimming. Stop it. Okay, Tess, do I have to hit the fish? No, I do not. Okay, that's good, because I don't want to bother trying to hit them. Come on, grab these coins and get through the air hole. Okay. So, come on, swim. And now for the search mission. Joy. I love search missions! They sound like fun! Okay, we're not going there yet. Let's stay down there, so I'll keep that for later. Alright, so, there's these. These, come on. Thank you. Alright, three in the ship. Three in the bow of the ship. And starboard. Port. I don't know my size of the ship. Somebody indicate me and tell me if I'm getting it wrong. Let's see, we got 11. I know I'm missing one out here because I do believe there is 10 inside this ship. Yep, okay. That's what I thought. And there's probably 6 inside the ship. Okay. Can you swim? Properly. Thank you. Now to find an air refilling station place. Right here. Okay. Okay, so maybe you don't have to exactly wait in it to your refills, but whatever. Man, I hope I don't have to go on a mad search mission for one last coin fly if I miss it in here. Alright. So, okay. Battery for some reason. And... Oh, I do have to get more. Son of a... Mad search mission! Joy! I love this. Okay, yeah, this is the part I was gonna get worried about. I knew I had to do this. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was going to happen. Can you swim through the thank you? Alright, wait. Do you know you don't have to go in there? Son of... Oh, hello! Okay, get swim properly. Christ of Jesus. Wait, you're not gonna do that thing where I'm gonna be. Okay, good. You're not. Can it, can I grab it though? Can you be nice? Okay. Now we're gonna go back to the top of that. Ow! That hurt. Okay, so we gotta go back to the top of that explorer ship place to get this star. Nothing related to a star in Super Mario Galaxy at all. Oh, wait. Stupid thing keeps tricking me. Okay. So, let's grab this star. We got a power star in a Gex game. What the fuck? No, seriously. Um, I, I, I'm not gonna do that again. I apologize. That was just random. Alright, so let's get out of here and go to our next area. Except let's get out of here and go to our next area and stop screwing around yourself. Okay. Let's climb the wall, thank you. And jump down here. Keep running, junking, and kicking your things. You know, all that stuff in a bag of potato chips. Get it back to Mission Control, what else? I'll still call the Gex Cave for reasons of continuity. I think. Alright, so, our next area is Funky Town! No, I'm dead serious, that's what the area is called. It's called Funky Town. Like Lips Inc. Funky Town. You're gonna take me to Funky Town. I'm gonna take you to Funky Town. But luckily, it is not funky or exciting. It's basically just like the slums of Detroit type of area. See, look, it's a sewer. That is so motivational and not depressing in the least bit. But luckily, this area has a bunch of new crap I gotta collect. Like a bunch of the usual bonus coins and this infinite spawning fly box of something. Yes, definitely spawns. So next time on Let's Play Gex Deep Cover Gecko, we're going to be exploring this beastly large area. 
So until then, see you later and goodbye.